Grow strong. I can't believe you're going. Leaving me alone here with these people. The time has come, my dear. There's nothing more tedious than a trial. Except perhaps these gardens. If I have to take one more leisurely stroll through these gardens, I'll fling myself from the cliffs. <laughs> have you been to see Tommen yet? No. Have they even agreed to the match? No one tells me anything. I wasn't originally meant to marry your grandfather Luther, you know. He was engaged to my sister, your great aunt Viola. I was to be given to some Targaryen or other. Marrying a Targaryen was all the rage back then. But the moment I saw my intended, with his twitchy little ferret face and ludicrous silver hair, I knew he wouldn't do. So, the evening before Luther was to propose to my sister, I got lost on my way back from my embroidery lesson and happened upon his chamber. <laughs> How absent-minded of me. Mm -hmm. The following morning, Luther never made it down the stairs to propose to my sister because the boy couldn't bloody walk. <laughs> and once he could, the only thing he wanted was what I'd given him the night before. I was good. I was very good. Very good. You are even better, but you need to act quickly. Cersei may be vicious, but she's not stupid. She'll turn the boy against you as soon as she can. And by the time you're married, it'll be too late. Luckily for you, the Queen Regent is rather distracted at the moment, mourning her dear departed boy, accusing her brother of his murder, which he didn't commit. Well, he could have done. I could have done, but he didn't. You don't know, Grandmother. But I do know. You don't think I'd let you marry that beast, do you? What? I don't understand who... Don't you worry yourself about all that. You just do what needs to be done. <laughs> 